Hello YouTube and welcome to I think your 11th Microsoft Visual C++ tutorial and uh, in this tutorial we're going to be covering basic exception handling. Now what that is is I'll just use an analogy for you. Let's say you go to a football game and at this football game they're about to do a play and one of the players pass passes the line of scrimmage too early. That would be the equivalent of an exception or an error and what happens when that error is made the referee will throw up a flag and everything everybody stops where they are and then they figure out a way to handle that error or exception so um, if you guys don't watch sports then you probably didn't know anything about that but um, it helped me when I learned so I decided I'd use it in this video so uh, let's go ahead and get started you can see I have a small program here it doesn't do anything at all but um, we have everything that we normally put in our programs but I have two variables num1 and num2 one is equal to 4 and one is equal to 0 so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a small calculator and um, if somebody try, tries to divide by 0 then uh, as you all know that's impossible it'll be ready to catch that exception and um, it'll it won't crash the program because if you're not handling exceptions your whole program is going to crash which is bad so um let's go ahead and get started here i'm going to go ahead and put try and we're going to be using a try catch statement i may have already said that but what that does is it'll try a set of code and um, if an exception is thrown in that code then it'll catch that and it'll tell the user that there's been a an error if you want it to if not it'll just the program will know there's been an error but you don't have to tell the user so we're gonna go ahead and put try and I'm just gonna use a short if statement so if num2 is not no if it's equal to zero then we're just gonna throw an exception now you can there's a whole bunch of different types of exceptions there's um, character uh, which is pretty much character with an asterisk after it which is like a character or a string of letters uh, you can use either one and um, there's also integers there's doubles there's booleans uh, pretty much any data type you can throw an exception for it um, so basically what I'm gonna do is gonna throw, I'm gonna throw this exception so error that math is impossible and um, so basically if num2 is equal to 0 then it's going to throw that exception and um, if it's not equal to 0 then it's going to go ahead then we'll see out num1 divided by num2 and so now we'll go down here Oh crap, hold on. That used to be a closing bracket. And what we want to do is get ready to catch the exception if one is thrown. So um, since in this case we're using a, uh, a character exception with the asterisk, uh, we're going to go ahead and catch for that. Now you can have as many catch statements as you want. Um, you can catch for um, integers and doubles at the same time. Just you you can have as many as you want you can also have the default sorry about that my mic is actually broken and I have to hold it and every time I go to type it like swings around but uh, you can also use the default um, which is catch dot 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 pretty much catches anything um, if you're not looking specifically for an integer or a double or um, a character or something so uh, basically we're just gonna do character with asterisk and we're just going to name that error or ERR for short and then we'll come back up here and we'll just see out the error go ahead and get rid of that okay so now if we run this program it should work this is like the third time I filmed this okay so you can see it printed out too because we did num1 divided by num2 which is 2 
and so if we close that out we're going to change this to zero and you see that it caught the exception and it printed it out and said error that math is impossible so go ahead and um, try this code get used to it go on Google you can look up different variations of it if you want or somewhere on YouTube I just wanted to cover the, the basics of it and um, get used to it try it with some of your programs uh, like I said in my best way to learn a, a coding language come up with an idea and make that idea and get it to work you can test it have your friends use it um, see what's wrong with it and so you can fix that um, this that's a good this is a good thing to use when you're doing stuff like that so um, thanks for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe